Welcome to Salman Lab. In this lab, we are going to cover one more topic as a part of Oracle migration and upgrading from 12C to 19C. OS from Oracle Linux 8 to Red Hat Linux 8. Here, we are going to cover this one, Data Pump. It's very simple, however, downtime will be significant. Why? Because we have to stop all application to the current database, then take all export of databases, all schemes for users, and migrate it to the new database. However, it will take advantage that it will cover all kind of difference, corruption, hardware change, anything, it will be covered with the data pump. Let's see the steps of this. Simply, the steps of export and import we are going to do is export from source 12C users and roles, import users and roles in the destination 19C, export data from source 12C, and import data to the new DP 19C. Let's see how this will be covered. So to achieve this, here we are. I have two databases. The white one is a 12C. The blank background one is 19C. So here, I have already installed and I have a database around here. It's a 12C. And here I have already installed and configured a, a new database. And if I connect to this database, it's running. However, there is no data. Here is it, 19C. So as we're the plan, let's start with this. Then we will go back to the second one. So here. For the 12C, first of all, we have to create a directory. So first, I will write in the host level like this, make directory u01 my data pump dire. Or simply let me use here, just export. Because here I will export. Then I will create in the database level, create directory. I will call it export as this path, u01 export. Here is it. Then I can use this from outside. How? We will use it, we will export. What I have before I export, let me just, yes, I have here, I have a user called test I have created, just any dummy schema you can create. So I will select star from my, this is scheme test call, there is one object called test one. And there is two row in this tables. If I do the same thing here, I will not find it. So I will migrate. I'm assuming this is all my databases. It's a user called test and have one object called test one as a table. However, in reality, it will be a lot of schemes and a lot of users. And inside all users or schemes, there will be a lot of objects. So you have to consider this in your U80. Let me clean up this and start my export table. So first I will use this export data pump. Then I will have mentioned the directory, directory, direct, directory equal export. That the one I just have created. Dump file, any dump file, let me call it export role, for example, dot dump. And log file of this export, I will call it log file, log file dot log, for example. Fully or not, here I will mention fully equal yes to include all current user and its password. Then I will use a word called include equal user role, role, grant, and to profile, profile. Maybe in my case, I didn't create any specific profile or anything, but 
and new reels in case you have to include everything this will overwrite whatever users and the source one and i will enter unknown parameter oh okay it's a <coughs> it's a mistake but it's a silly mistake it's just a spelling mistake die break to ring And another, another full equal y, not full equal y. It's another mistake. So from mistake we will learn only and enter again. It will ask me about the username or and password for the exploitations. I will use system sys will not be granted any user with as sys DBA will not be able to do the export. So my username here is a system and I will enter the password and here we go dump file will be generated okay here is it let me cd to this path u01 export and I will see this one error what's this error actually it will be here I have this export and this is select file it can use less to this and see completed what when error that the error is that there is no rule because I didn't create any rule and this can be accepted all right can clean up what else I will export full schema test and import it there so I will use the same command of export but now I will not use include or full equal yes here I will use another filtration called ski mass equal and name of schema is test look file let me use it schema to I have different one and here instead of all I will use schema as well directory is same different dump file and different log file to this the next the different between this enter again username system and password is my password and here it's started to export the schema here we go we have now all files so let to start this let me just copy all these files to my destination and the target database so to do this let me here create that directory make dire u01 and let me call it import all right, uh, this need to be fixed, so let me switch to my Oracle to root. Change owner it should be Oracle or oh install to u01 again let me run the same there. 
Okay. Okay, create. So here I have created this. We now see the star of these files. And copy it. Oracle at one two to one six eight seven in the path of U zero one and import. Password of Oracle is in the second file here. This I go to this path U zero one import I will find all my files so let me focus in the new server now I'm keeping the old server away very good so now I have the files before I start let me just show you that if I do a select star from test to test one right now there is no object. So let me start the import process first. We will create in the SQL. We will create a directory. Directory called import as u01 import like this yes then we will be out of this and we will start our import process import we'll use import data pump i can use system directly like this and writing out my my database. Be, uh, be careful that whatever the table space is created here should be available here. And whatever dependency for this object should be. Here I'm assuming I'm using only the user's dev table space, which is by default available in all databases. So I will import the same object that will use the same user's table space. However, in a production or real time scenario, there will be a lot of table spaces. You have to create all storage before importing. So here, I will just use this as this, like this. <coughs> and we'll start this by writing import data pump system. And I will use the database users directly and password. And directory, directory will be equal here, import. With them file will equal the dump file available here dump dot dump I will use the dump later on our log file equal import role dot log and I have to mention that full equal yes include equal user role role grant pro file like this however the file i didn't mention it correctly so this is the role this is the file let me go back to my comments and change the dump file with this dump file equal to this that's it yes that's it enter and we will see if there is error we will correct it as usual okay i have to remove this hash to make it work and let's see how it will go yes there is one Again, <coughs> spelling mistake. Hopefully, nothing now. One error with this. However, before I proceed, 
let me make sure that select star from DBA user or let me just select the username from DBA users where where username equal to test and see if this does exist now or not yes this is exist there is one error for importing this is because the compatibility of this was not correct however i will keep it as it's i will not change this as password here all right what's next we will import now we'll import the data this is the role now we will import this so let me go back so here i will not include this and fully would not be used as well and import role i will change it to another clip import import schema and dump file will be different dump file it will be this dump file and i will add <coughs> a parameter called schemas equal test all right let's import this and see how it's going all right one error is with system import schema 01 that this schema already there is a job import schema this one's failed that's accepted for us because we know this there is only one scheme we are trying to use however to test this we can just simply log in and select star now <coughs> from test dot test one in the 19 c here we are and see there is a data so whatever in my all the scheme to be dumped it will be available and that's a simple example how to use data pump export uh, import in order to migrate from <clears throat> mesh one machine to different machine and in the destination in the target machine version is upgraded as well before that so it's migration and upgrade in the same time hopefully this video help you to understand the main steps of export and import to migrate and upgrade from 12c to 19c using different OS. thank you for watching my video and see you in another video